Today's video, I'm gonna show you a blitz that is taking over Comp Madden, and I'm also gonna show you why it is that good and what you can do to make it even better and kind of put a whole little mini blitz scheme together out of this out of this defense. Really, really effective. So uh, what we're in, we're in the 40s or we're in the we're in the Chiefs playbook. And if you want to get my full dollar ebook, it's completely up to date. If you guys want to get access to that, I think it's the best defense in the game. We actually are dropping a brand or a revamp of the 6-1 in there as well. And we're going to be working on some Dying Normal 3-3 stuff as well for you guys. So if you want to get access to all of those ebooks, they're all on the Patreon. What you're going to do in your audibles, you're going to have DB Fire 2. And then you are going to have auto flip off, auto alignment to base. And then really whatever you want to do down here is up to you. And what you're going to do is you're going to come out and free safety zone blitz out of this. Again, this is in the Chiefs playbook. And what's really important is that you're not going to press your coverage. You're going to let the coverage kind of kind of set itself up. And all you're going to do is you are going to basically run the blitz just like this. And you're just going to bring your user down right here. And what you'll see is this blitz should come through the A-gap like it would. Anyway, it's just a simple five-man blitz. And, and again, and there's literally no adjustments to it. What I like to do is shade outside and underneath and basically just run the defense like this. And it's really simple. It's really effective. As you can see, it's, it's very good blitz. It's a five-man pressure. So what are they going to have to do to block this, you might ask? Well, they're going to have to block a running back. Now, if you think about bunch strong, nasty, bunch strong offset, the running back is on the right side of the screen, like kind of standard, unless they flip the formation, of course. So I do like to bring this safety down to kind of help with seam streaks. But in general, if they try to just block this running back on the right side, a lot of times this blitz will still come in, as you see. So what they're going to need to do is they're going to need to basically flip the formation. So when they flip the formation, they're going to now have the resources they need to block this blitz off of the left side. As you can see, they're able to pick this up now. Now, you might say, well, what if they block a tight end? Most people in this year's game really don't block tight ends because tight ends in general, they're not very good against the A-gap blitzes that we've seen. But if they were to block a tight end, I have still found this blitz to come in a lot more frequently than it did right there. But just understand, a block tight end can give this blitz some trouble. So it kind of leads us to our next tip, and that is to audible to DB fire two when you come out in this blitz. So it looks exactly like the free safety zone blitz play, but now we're going to be sending double slot corner pressure. And if you look here to the left side, you see that we're getting this guy free off of the left edge. So let's say, for example, that our opponent decides, okay, well, we're going to flip our formation because most of the pressure is coming off of the left side. What we're then going to do is we're going to flip, call this DB fire two play. And as you can see, the slot corner on the right is going to come in even against a blocked running back. What this allows us to do is have a lot of versatility in terms of our pressure and coverage variations out of this. So let's say, for example, we wanted to go to the DB fire two. But now we're going to actually drop this slot corner on the left side into coverage. And again, we have a lot of help down here because we have this safety that we can roll him into the middle of the field. We can bring this guy down like I would normally probably bring this guy over in this little pocket, you know, and we might get a, you know, I don't even know what I would put him in, maybe a hook curl, right? Something like this. But as you can see, we're really setting up to get this nice pressure here. So you see, again, hard to get that block over there. They actually did, did get it that time. But in general, you can send four, you can send three, you can send you can send a very few amount of people and um, and be able to get pressure. And all kind of starts with this pressure right here. All you got to do is just come down with your user. As you see, the A-gap comes in pretty much every single time. So this is a new way to run the free safety zone blitz defense or some other cool things you can do from your coverage. One last thing I wanted to show is you can always put lurk artists at defensive end and get out there with your user. A lot of times this blitz will still come in just sending four people. So it's a real simple way to run this. This is not necessarily great against the run. It's okay against the run, but if they are in a run heavy run set, you might want to get into six one or something. But in general, I really like this specific defense for its versatility and its ability to be able to create multiple pressures, multiple coverages from the same look. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full dollar defensive ebook completely updated, link is in the description down below.